Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We are Robin and Nelson. Hello. And welcome to our bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love giving each other massages. Mm -hmm. And we heard from a friend that they are so uncertain about how to give their partners massage. Mm -hmm. And what a great time to be exploring that when you're, yeah. as partners, maybe spending a bit more time together. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to offer this up. If you're, whether you're feeling comfortable with massage or not, just, um, I think this would be valuable, even if you are used to giving massage, just to have something to offer intention and attention. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You may feel really unsure about giving massage, and um, we just want to make it really, um, really welcoming and mm. um, also a, a place to explore your curiosity. Mm -hmm and get um, intimate with your partner or your friend who you maybe hold up with right now for some time. So in this first clip, this first segment, uh, we will actually invite you to explore your own wonderful tools that are your hands. Yeah. Um, and should we say something about self? Yeah, so uh, be sure that you are comfortable. So make sure you're wearing something comfortable be sure you're well hydrated and <clears throat> even yes. have some water nearby that you may sip on anytime you might need that. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you've peed and washed your hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which you probably have been doing a lot of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's good. We Phones are... off or avoiding distractions, temperature of the room, things like that. We are working on a bed mm -hmm. uh, because you probably don't have a massage table in your home. So, um, have a seat on your bed, uh, have handy also um, a blanket and something, mm -hmm. a pillow that might go under the knees. It can be um, really nice. We'll show you about the setup for that in a mm -hmm. minute. For, right for now, we're gonna start by focusing on ourselves mm -hmm. and um, checking out our wonderful instruments and tools that we have. Mm -hmm. And um, let's just yeah. start with a little. Yeah, so just sit uh, comfortably wherever you are together and each of you just rub your hands. Mm. Mm -hmm. Feel the heat that's generated there. Mm -hmm. yes. and you can like press more and it might generate more heat, go faster or slower. It can also be lighter, gentle go and gentle. mellow. And really we invite you to notice all these different nuances. Start to get really curious about your own yeah. hands and what mm -hmm. they, all that they do for you all day long. Um, encouraging you to send them some love and thanks and gratitude. Yeah. I always say that the, the hands are an extension of the heart. Mm -hmm. So as you'll yeah. be giving today to yourself or to someone else, you're giving your love. Yeah. You're exploring your love. And also, hands are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Like, check them out. There's something else. Oh you've ever checked out the anatomy and that, well, everything that's awesome complex stuff happening here and I mean just look at them look at how they can move what they can do oh. and we really encourage you right now just like bring that kind of curiosity like you've touched your hands you've seen your hands so often but like bring a new eye or a new hand as it were to <laughs> it um, you could even have a little hand dance yeah enjoy the whole oh yeah check that mm -hmm. out just surprise yourself whoa what is it what's that Pulling on the fingers like this, <sighs> squeezing, I really suggest you try that out. And there's this webbing between the fingers. Oh yeah, the webbing. So really start to feel the different qualities of your hands. Like there's bone here, right? You can feel yeah. bony structure. And you can also feel these soft parts in between mm -hmm. the bones. This goes for a lot of the body. You know, the soft bits between bones. Mm -hmm. And see like squeezing more at the surface, squeezing deeper. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? And then, you know, switch hands. Just different depth. Like, check out what it's in there. Like, these bones uh, continue down here. It's separated here. Check that out. Like, I love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are, these are called this. the phalanges. Uh -huh. And these are the carpals, the metacarpals, and the little tiny 
intricate bones around your wrists mm -hmm. are called the carpals. So and slow it down. Just see what feels mm -hmm. good. And just enjoy. Take your time with this. Go slow enough that you want to take a deep breath. Yeah. So we wanted to show you um, a specific sort of shape that you could use as a tool. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be working on the neck soon in this way, but you could use it lots of different places. We'll show it in a minute in your own mm -hmm. shoulders. So um, I guess you can start with just one finger in your palm. Um, if you put it flat on, press down and drag towards you. That's one thing you can do. Something else you could do is point really down, like even get your fingernail involved if you want to, but just mm. see how that, that feels very different. You can also ha help your other fingers help like the whole thing be more stable, but see how that feels when you're pointing down, like that's very different. And what we're encouraging you right now is to have um, kind of the flat, but raised just a little bit and see if Tiny you can little hook. That. It's so like it's a hook that like, drags. Yeah, it's like you're not pointing this way, you're like dragging this. And then do it with all four. Like cup your hand up just a little bit. See see how that feels. Mm -hmm. And try both and hands. Show you like, yeah. We can often be very yeah. one handed. Yes. So switch try hands both. if you haven't. And just explore different textures, different pressures. Mm -hmm. You can, if you're feeling, if you're getting stiff in your hands, just shake them off and relax. Don't overdo it. One other, one other tool for the hands is just mm -hmm. to squeeze these edges. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this in itself, if you're working on a computer a lot, uh -huh. um, this kind of break in your day can be life-saving. Yeah. Yeah. Around the thumb, these, the Thenar pad, it's so powerful mm -hmm. and strong. Yes. Squeezing the webbing oh, this here. Part. Mm. Yeah, this could be really good for headaches or you were saying nausea mm -hmm. to like or general stress. There's a there's a point here. You'll you'll know if you squeeze into it right. You'll right. feel like Ooh, there's something there. Oh yeah, there it is. And once you've gotten a release, give a little shake off. So yeah. in the next video, we're going to be showing you some techniques for neck massage for your friend, mm -hmm. your partner. Yeah. Um, so we thought we'd just sort of draw our own mm -hmm. attention to our own yes. neck. Um, I'm also, you know, just right away, I just want to just <laughs> give my skull and scalp a little yeah. love, just mm -hmm. even before I got into the neck there. So, um, in the back of your neck, there is a bony ridge, and it's where your mm -hmm. neck and your skull meet. Mm -hmm. In this area, it's called the occipital ridge. And on mm -hmm. some of us, it's very, very, it has a big protuberance. and others, it's a little flatter. Mm -hmm. Mine's a little flatter, but I can definitely feel the difference between bone, my skull, and musculature right underneath. Mm -hmm. And musculature that gets very tight because I'm staring at a screen all day, mm -hmm. perhaps. So I'm just going to So go ahead and out. explore your own neck. Yeah. Your own head. Find that ridge and see about that pulling we were talking like if you can yeah. slowly go slowly go softer at first and may, then maybe increase the pressure. And I'm drawing from the center out and there's just oh, I'm yeah. tracing along the shape Let of this bone. Yeah. From the center out. Tracing along the shape of the of the skull, the bone. Mm -hmm. And you can do that in a few segments, all the way down to where your shoulders come in. Yes. You could also touch the bones, the mm -hmm. actual bones of your vertebra, your cervical spine. There are these sticky, outy parts, and this is your body. You get to know it. Yeah. You know? And when you're touching there, I recommend like tilting your head back and forth, and you'll notice the... A little bit of difference. <laughs> yeah, and even side to side. Wow, I feel things sliding over things. Yeah. Interesting. So, that. Oh, yes. You feel great too. Lift. Stretch it down. I slide down the front of the neck. And then one other thing we thought we would show is rake it, the raking yes. of these fingers. Taking your right hand to your left shoulder or your left mm -hmm. hand to your right shoulder. 
and go as far down, <clears throat> reach as far down the back as you can. And then with that sort of cupping shape, slide through the, this very strong muscle on most of us. It's quite strong, it's quite mm -hmm. powerful. Mm, see how Take your time, go very slowly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. See what feels good. Mm. Pause uh -huh. in a place that's like, wow, that's interesting. What's here? You may find yourself using a different tool from your hand. The grasping or the sliding or, or even just a pause and a touch. Mm. Very important. <laughs> so left hand to right shoulder or the opposite yeah. one you didn't do and feel free like to explore it's your own body mm -hmm. it's amazing it's in there bring both the curiosity and like tune into what feels good mm -hmm. those are your two main guides mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. your curiosity and just straight up pleasure of mm -hmm. course and the again the encouragement to, to just take your time with this really getting curious mm. and exploratory my own bone feels so different than soft tissue here maybe that's too much you might feel pulsing or heat mm. great all right so mm -hmm. in the next segment We'll share how you can uh, offer these magical friends, uh, uh, these magical hands to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon.